the budget is presented at a time when the global situation is very volatile, uncertain, very difficult in many ways. What the budget seeks to do is to uh, maintain growth, manage, reduce inflation, to ensure at the same time that our national capabilities grow. The world actually has uh, an expectation of us uh, that we would add to the engines of growth uh, at a very difficult time. At this time, at this very difficult time in the global situation, this is a very good budget which will sustain India's growth at a very, you know, uh, in, a, in a, a complicated environment. It will allow Indian diplomacy uh, to serve the country well and I think that's the reason uh, why it should be applauded. The budget which uh, Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Ramanji presented yesterday is a very exceptionally important budget because one, it is the first budget of the third term of the NDA government. Secondly, the budget is presented at a time when the global situation is very volatile, uncertain, very difficult in many ways. So what the budget seeks to do is to uh, maintain growth, manage, reduce inflation, to ensure at the same time that our national capabilities grow and that India's rise, India's growth, uh, the prosperity, progress of India, the development of India is not affected uh, by a negative international environment. So this is a kind of global perspective, really global context in a way of how uh, the budget should be seen. Now, there are certain uh, priority areas which the finance minister laid out, nine of them actually. But if you look at them, you know, priority areas uh, like uh, skilling and education, uh, areas like infrastructure uh, and services, how to boost agriculture, how to develop infrastructure, uh, managing uh, the urban growth. Uh, there is a, there is a, uh, I would say, a, a total uh, package out there and a lot of it is also factored on how to increase manufacturing, how to boost services uh, in this country. Now as the external affairs minister, you know, the perspective I would like to share is that these steps will actually, one, make India a much more serious player in the global economy. Uh, the world actually has uh, an expectation of us uh, that we would add to the engines of growth uh, at a very difficult time. And therefore, if you look, some of the key steps are also how to uh, make foreign investment come in a much more uh, uh, effective manner, how to attract technology, how to boost manufacturing. Uh, so uh, these are really, I would say, in a way, a kind of a macro analysis I would give of the budget from the viewpoint of foreign policy. Of course, as foreign minister, I can also say that uh, we are very happy. We've got a 22% growth uh, in the budget of the Ministry of External Affairs. It will allow us to focus on our neighborhood. It will allow us to uh, support and work with the Global South. It will help us uh, to, uh, to actually uh, facilitate and uh, service and support Indians going abroad, uh, Indians who will explore the global workplace. Our passport services will definitely improve. In many ways, I think as a result of all of this, the country will be more secure because our own neighborhood will be much more friendly as a result of uh, all that we do. So overall, I think, you know, I'm very, uh, naturally I'm pleased with the budget, but I want to say very objectively, uh, our country should appreciate that at this time, at this very difficult time in the global situation. This is a very good budget which will sustain India's growth at a very, you know, uh, in a, in a uh, complicated environment. It will allow Indian diplomacy uh, to serve the country well and I think that's the reason uh, why it should be applauded.